Professor Dave and Chegg here. We know that alkenes are hydrocarbons with at least one carbon-carbon double bond. But how can we prepare alkenes? Let's look at some synthetic approaches to alkene preparation now. In order to prepare an alkene, we are going to have to form a carbon-carbon pi bond, and we briefly introduced one method of doing this a bit earlier. Elimination reactions are those in which two groups on two adjacent carbons are eliminated, replaced by a pi bond between those two carbons. This is the precise opposite of the addition reactions we have been discussing, where two groups are added to a pi bond. So if we put an alkene on the left and a substituted alkane on the right, we can see that the two arrows going in either direction between them will refer to addition and elimination. Now, what kinds of elimination reactions can we do? There are two very common ones that we must learn immediately. The first is dehydrohalogenation. This is the opposite of the hydrohalogenation we discussed. This means that if a molecule has a hydrogen and a halogen on adjacent carbons, those can both be eliminated and a pi bond will form. This can be summarized as the loss of HX from the molecule, hence dehydrohalogenation. This will generally occur in the presence of very strong base, like potassium hydroxide. The hydroxide ion will take this proton, and the electrons in the carbon-hydrogen bond will go to form the pi bond, while the electrons in the carbon-halogen bond will leave with the halogen to form a halide ion. Water will be a byproduct. Another similar reaction is dehydration. This will occur when a hydrogen and a hydroxyl group are on adjacent carbons. So alcohols are the substrate for a dehydration. Mechanistically, this will be very similar to the dehydrohalogenation, except that it will start with protonation of the hydroxyl group. This is now essentially a water molecule that is capable of leaving the substrate, so another water molecule will take the adjacent proton, the pi bond will form, and water will be kicked off, leaving the resulting alkene. We now know about two extremely common ways to prepare alkenes, those being dehydrohalogenation and dehydration. We will learn more over time, but these are the most important. Professor Dave for Chegg. See you next time.